Yo, this is BJ Gador with Men's Health with the best new chest exercise. I call it the bat wing fly and I used it in my workout the other day and it really cooked my chesticles in a nice way. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna spend more time in the bottom portion of that fly, actually starting at what looks like the bottom of a chest press. I'm hugging the bench with my shoulder blades, doing a nice proud chest position, a slight natural arc in the lower back. Not hyperextension, but just enough to really get stability and support to the shoulder and allow a good chest stretch. And all I'm gonna do is just basically straighten my arms out to the side from that position, pause for a count, and bring it back. Going for work periods of one to two straight minutes or higher reps of 10 to 20 repetitions, I can mix between the overhand grip and the palms facing neutral grip. And again, the key focus here, this is challenging. We're spending all the time in the most difficult portion to move the bottom, so go much lighter than normal. And because we're stretching the muscles under load, it can really create a lot of muscle damage. So you only want to do a couple sets initially. And again, going lighter helps with that. Otherwise, you'll be sore for the whole week, which we don't want. So try this one today. Sets of one to two straight minutes, about a minute rest between. You can use them early on in the workout to pre-exhaust and warm up the chest so it's more active the rest of your workout. Or save it as an accessory move or finishing movement for metabolic stress and a nice high pump. Go lighter initially, go time under tension base, get a lot of quality work in there, and make those pecs pop. We'll see you next time.